Oh. Not at all. Not at all. Like in India, there's a culture of like parents moving with your kids when they retire. So, what do you think about that idea? Common nahi hai mere khayal se. Common hai. How is it? Uh, what's the name? Like in India. Sort of what? So today we are going to finally our first spring break vacation after Puerto Rico. Oh wow, there are so many cops on the left. I am literally going exact speed limit. So we have a 70, 70 miles an hour speed limit. I am going at 75 because I am on the leftmost lane. This is the exact. So usually like, I always follow the crowd. But right now the roads are empty because it's a working day, spring break. So I am the crowd. So going at the exact speed limit thanks to Tesla Autopilot. Or this is going to be our first spring break in US that we are celebrating the spring break way in Daytona Beach, famous spring break location in Florida. But first of all, we are going to villages. So villages, mein we are going to show you all the retirement homes, how retired people live. So the village is a county, a very big town. Hai. By the way, those, so, during spring break, be very careful. There are so many cops. Don't touch phone while driving. Like back to back, every mile I see a cop and drive on this at this at the exact speed limit. They don't ticket two points cut on your license. So bother is here. So be careful during spring break and these hot vacation days. Acha, okay. Villages is 83 square kilometers, so wow. it's very big. It's actually made up of 17 different districts, so like little towns within it. Um, and you have to be 55 to live there. To live there, at least wow. 55. It has 144,000 people, and apparently in 2022, it was the fastest growing like municipality in the United States. So wow. there's a really high demand. <laughs> people really want to go there. So in, in COVID, people wanted to like it's 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 known for three things though. So she told me okay. number one is that they are it's a red state, Republican state, or especially the villages. Yeah. Like the county is like very Trump supporting. Number two, six. Number two, six. There's rumors that it has one of the highest STD rates in the country. I've seen that those rumors have been debunked, but it still seems like there's a lot of sex. Um, if you want to look up the Lufa code, yeah. uh, then you can learn more about that. Uh, I think there's like 85,000 golf carts or something there. That's what I saw. Um, so in the villages, in a lot of roads, you can only travel by golf cart, not by car. Because, um, yeah, they just like a slower pace of life. And obviously it's safer. So. Okay, so time for pita bread. That is the healthiest chips option. I've never seen this, a truck towing another truck. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You've never seen anything like it in India either? No. Oh. Uh, I don't know why. This is common, but I don't know why. Or maybe I don't know why. Why don't you know why? Why don't you know why? Why don't you know why? It's common, I think. Common? How is it? What's the name? Like in Kitta. Uh, Thorabad. Thorabad. Okay. <laughs> Florida is about three things your board se aap dekh sakte ho. So it's about pro life here as compared to pro choice. India is not zada pro choice hai abortion ke upar. Yaha pe itna zada pro life. Yaha pe boards pe likha hua hai ki 18 days ke baad bhi your pregnancy or baby is alive and you should not get aborted. Number two about uh, religion. People are very religious here. Yaha pe Jesus ke baad boards hai. And number three about RVs. Lord of RVs. Yeah. Right. I don't know why they're so popular here, but for some reason they are very popular in Florida. Yeah. Yeah! Villages ka pani ki tanki. Villages ki pani ki tanki. Wow! And these are the houses in villages where we will golf cart. 
Sunshine state may aage aur we gloomy weather. So nice weather. Yahan pe sabhi log white hai kedi. I mean I I can Yeah my house in villages. Okay. Sunshine state mein thodi si barish ho rahi hai and I I don't know how people survive in villages kedi like there is not much to do there is like golf cart and there is maybe like you know some concerts that's it. I think I'm pretty sure they have more activities going on like throughout the week. It's just like it's just a random night and it's bad weather. Yeah. But pata nahi yaar how is the life of retired people here? It's I'm kind of jealous. Unke liye matlab party karo, golf khelo, but it's also boring, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like they don't have anything to do. So that's why sometimes they have fun in other ways, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and that's why there is loofa code. Search karna aap. Loofa code. But first, दोस्तों this video is brought to you by Surf Shark. So जब भी मैं travel करता हूँ I have to have to use Wi-Fi in coffee shops or for example today at KFC. And you have to make sure that your data through the internet is safe because whoever's Wi-Fi you connect to, they can actually see and track all the data you browse using their Wi-Fi. So to stay safe, I use one of my favorite VPN called Surf Shark because first of all, with Surf Shark you get unlimited devices. My laptop, phone, everything can connect to Surf Shark. Surf Shark is one of the only VPNs I have seen with India as the country option because India में काफी चीजें सस्ती मिलती हैं as compared to US and I can always stay updated with Indian prices of Amazon Music or even YouTube Premium. You can use those prices. while booking flight tickets china mein wherever you going you can use the country where are you going to and save a lot of money and other feature is content unblocking for example friends is not available in us netflix you can watch it and also amazon mini tv so what are you waiting for dosto use my code sing in us and get 3 months free on the yearly membership go check out right away and aapko 200 rupees se bhi kam padega per month in the us इट इज सो वियर दोस्तों यहाँ पे सारे लोग दे आर सीनियर सिटीजन रिटायरमेंट होम्स एवर लाइक इंडिया में तो एक एक साइड होती है रिटायरमेंट होम्स की बट लाइक ओल्ड एज होम्स एंड जस्ट बी क्लियर not really a retirement home it's a old age community home. it's a community of <laughs> old age home and and people are considered to be happiest here or us mein india mein kaha jata hai india mein if you if you someone is going to old age home it's like a curse oh no like here yeah. they, they come here to have fun i think they really like their lives it's simple they have good restaurants they have live music they have people their own age to talk to and hang out with no i think I think if we we'll talk to people I think they're going to be really happy here. Yeah, let's see yeah. how happy they are. Cuz yeah, Americans we just like when we retire we don't think of living with our kids. Like we think yeah. okay, what what fun thing am I going to do when I have all this time? I'm done working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so so do you think in that case in India kids are transactional people think in India, "Oh, uh, we are raising you, so in return you raise ourselves." दंगे कराएंगे क्या आप जॉब ये Yeah, so they do have actually villages schools, but it's just for the children of the people who work here. I actually, when I was in Jordan over the summer, I met a guy who is like from here, and his parents were here, and he went to those schools. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at all those birds. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's so sunny and nice here. Yeah. <laughs> they have gators here, alligators. I told you, I'm pretty sure. Do not feed the alligators. Florida, like I'm pretty sure there's a risk in most. Like 
It's a turtle. It's a turtle. Wow, they have turtles here. Yeah, but those are actually really scary. Those yeah. can like bite off your finger. Oh really? Like snapping turtles, yeah. Like, I remember someone told me if you see that in the road, like don't pick it up, like don't try to help it. Just, they like, can bite a finger away. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. They're really they're really powerful. Hi, uh, what's your name? Doug. Doug. Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. Jackie. Uh -huh. John. John. So, what are your favorite experiences here? Uh, love, I love golf. I golf a lot. Oh, nice. <laughs> Get to hear free music every night and good food. Amazing. <laughs> I'm being with friends and having a great time. It's like adult Disney World here. There's a, something going on all the time and every day. Oh, wow. It's always something to do. It's such a beautiful place. The landscaping, the flowers, the people are all friendly. Very nice. Very nice. I can't name just one thing. This is an adult Disney Adult Disney Land. Amazing. So I, I, I come from India. So over there, there's a culture of like, you know, uh, parents with their children. What do you think about that idea? <laughs> oh, I'm staying out of that. <laughs> um, well, our kids just live five minutes away from us. So, I... I we just I, come down yeah. and rent uh -huh. once in a while. We're just visiting for three months, so I am starting to miss them. Oh. <laughs> so, and my grandchildren, so... Oh. I mean, if you would have to live with them, would you think it would have been more fun, or is it lonely? Oh no, it would be more fun. More fun. Uh -huh. More craziness. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think there's pros and cons to both. You know, it's good to have your kids and your grandkids around you and your your parents maybe. Because we had our mother in law live with us for 10 years. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, there are pros and cons. Yeah. yeah. So, what was the question? Because I. So, know. yeah, I come from India where there's a culture of parents living with their children. So, what would you think about that idea? Our mom lived My mother with lived with us for 10 years, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah. But but do you prefer like living independent or with your kids? How how would you oh, feel happier? I'm not going with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's us. Oh. And then all the way to the end, I'm not going to like. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. No, nothing against them. I love them. Yeah, I'm not working. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's the same way, so I'm trying to explain that in America, that's normal. Like, we don't normally live together, but for him, that's very strange. It's like, it's just culture. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one last question, like, how, how do you look about going back to the workforce? It's stated that 30% of the Americans are going back to workforce because of inflation, because how things are expensive. Do you think of ever going back to the workforce? I actually have a part-time job. Oh, you do? Yes. After you're retired. Oh. I'm a, I'm a bartender. Oh, do part you enjoy? Time. Yeah. Oh, very nice. It's, it's golf money. Oh. <laughs> it's good for me. Yeah. oh very, so, like, you didn't get bored of that, right? Uh, no, I work uh, one day. It's only one day a week. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's great. Amazing. It's yeah. yeah. How about you? Uh, I wouldn't mind it because I like to be around people, I think. But I, I like also being off and being at home. And my own timetable. Uh -huh. <laughs> and is it like stress-free life or you also get sometimes stress at home? It's stress-free. It's stress-free. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. It's living the dream. Living the dream. Wow. <laughs> How about you? What do you think? Oh, I would never go back to work. Oh. Um, I, I was a nurse and um, I can do it physically. Um, although I have to say that really I have never retired as a nurse because I have friends and family that ask me questions and make me look things up and take care of things all day long. And the last job I had as a nurse, I was a teacher. I taught other nurses. And um, so I still keep in touch with them. Amazing. Yes, I loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you? myself, I still do two part-time jobs. Oh, really? So, yeah. So how many hours do you work then? Uh, it depends because I work for a funeral home. And whoever's oh. dying to meet me, then that's when I go to work. <laughs> and, and uh and i do track and field official in high school and college so uh -huh. that just whenever the events or the season's in i'm in if not but i i enjoy it and i can still fool around do whatever i want to do in golf and everything else
It seems like a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And it gives you like enough time to, you know, think about other than life as well. Like, you know, yeah. uh, surrounding yourself with people gives you hobbies. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's the concert. <laughs> it's like a break in between. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. It seems like a very relaxing place. Yahan pe sare log alcohol pee and yeah, there's a movie theater as well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, it seems really nice. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, what's your favorite ex experience here so far? Uh, our, to me, our favorite experience is having our friends come down and. A 40, more than 40 year friendship come down here after we did and buy a house down here so that we could all be together. Oh wow, the houses have become really expensive after that, right? Since 2020, so many people coming here. Um, not too not too much more expensive, uh -huh. a little bit. A little uh -huh. bit, everything, a little bit. everything gets higher. Yeah, uh -huh. it depends on where you yeah. came from. We yeah. came from New York and they were already sky high. Right. So oh wow. Yeah. Down here it was oh, this better. was cheaper than living in New York. New York, yeah. uh, for sure, for sure. On Long Island. Uh -huh. And how's the stress levels here? Because people, when when they quit workforce, like you know, they want a life completely stress-free. Totally yeah. stress-free. It's party city. It's oh. all you do is party hardy. <laughs> six Saturdays and one Sunday. Eat. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you eat, relax, and have fun. That's it. Oh wow! Six Saturdays, one Sunday. Very well said. <laughs> Happy hour every day. That's Happy right. hour every day. Very nice. So, like, I come from India, where there is a culture of like you know their parents live with their kids when they are too old, like after sixty, after fifty-five. What do you think about the idea? Can you ever think of living with your Kids. We, have, we have a little apartment in my son's house that we go back to in the summertime and at the holiday time. But I, I think that as a, in the long term, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want that kind of a lifestyle permanently. I would uh, want to keep my independence as long as I could. We would like our kids to come down here and share this experience yes. with us. And there then they go. wouldn't have any stress. Right. Correct. That's yeah. Right. It's it's more stressful with them yeah. as compared to when they come here. Because they don't know what's going on. But Correct. If they had, if they had a, a you know a bird's eye view, then they'd be able to see. Oh, this is where they're spending their you know their uh, senior years. Retire. It's great. They're yep. Yes. And uh, here, there, I, I also saw fidelity here. So I was reading Wall Street Journal report. They say that oh, from your retirement fund. So like advice to the young people watching this video. So and when they become old, how much percentage of money they should withdraw from their retirement funds every year? Is there a rule you follow, or like you know you just play by ear? First of all, I would suggest always live just slightly under your means. Uh. Always slightly under what you can afford, and and always make sure you put something away. Even if it's ten dollars, even in the worst of times, even if it's ten dollars from your paycheck, always something. Save it in reserve. Start young, and by the time you're ready to retire, you'll have a nice de right. nest egg. Right. And take out what? Take out what you're supposed to take out. What are you supposed to take out? Seven uh, percent. Seven percent. Yeah, I haven't taken anything out yet. Oh I'm wow. Seventy-two. That's pretty good. Yeah, Wall Street Journal also say around seven percent. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, very nice talking to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, what are your names? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Toby and Sherry Balsamo. Uh -huh. Nancy and Roger Rochard. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. Bye. Wow. And. And and dosto, agar aap dhyan se dekho, the golf cart says Detroit, so they moved from Detroit to Florida. Yeah. And there's an Ohio one. Ohio one. Oh wow, this one. Yeah. So that license plate says Ohio, so they moved from Ohio to Florida. Yeah. Their previous car. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what are your names and where are you from? Uh -huh. uh, my name is Jill, and I'm from Minnesota, and we live here most of the time too. Oh very nice. How about you? I'm Mary and I'm from the Chicago area. Oh very nice. And I'm Marge and I'm also from Chicago. Very nice. So uh, what are your favorite experiences here so far? Uh, we start from here. Uh, coming up to the square. We love this square especially but we also like to golf a lot and play pickleball. Very nice. Lots of Lots of stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, I also I'm in a ladies golf group and I also like to play samba. It's a card game. And we love meeting our friends up in the square for the music. Oh wow. Uh -huh. I play water volleyball quite a bit. Probably six days a week, four hours a day. 
and I also enjoy the friends I've made and um, we do a lot of things with our neighborhood too. Parties and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, the community is so friendly and everyone is so welcoming. It seems like a lot of fun. Is it is it stressful or like you or it's like completely is it completely stress free or do you miss the workforce? It's stressful oh. trying to figure out what you're gonna do every oh. morning. You wake up and you're like <laughs> Too many things to do. Oh wow! I do not miss work. No, not at all. Not uh, at all. No. How about you? No, the uh, no the stress. You know what? The one thing I'll say: I have grandkids, so sometimes I miss out on things that are back home, and that's why I'm a snowbird. I go back and forth. Because uh, for uh, I'm a grandkid of my uh, my grandmother as well, but like in India, there's a culture of like parents moving with your kids when they retire. So, what do you think about that idea? Uh, well, um, this isn't really a community that welcomes like <laughs> kids, except for visiting kids. <laughs> that they aren't really, they aren't really living here. So there, there's that. So that's why there's a lot of snowbirds that go back home to visit their grandkids. True, but would you be happier if you were with kids, or you feel more happy independently? Uh, you know what? We raised five kids, and they're all independent, and we're good with that. They're not. Living, they're not living in our basement. Very well said. <laughs> How about you? I don't have it. Um, our, my, our boys are in California and Indiana, and they are independent. I enjoy seeing them, but I enjoy my lifestyle here. Very well. Very, so. very well. I appreciate that. I have four kids, and I did everything for them, and finally, I feel like it's time for me. You know, and not to sound selfish, but I think, you know, I I coached them in hockey and baseball and soccer. I did all that. I was the, you know, school mom and, you know, taught religious education for years. This is time that I can enjoy some things that I like. Well, you see, in India, it's the expectation they will take care of you, though. <laughs> and now it's their turn to take care of you. Uh -huh. So would you like that? <laughs> It, if physically I was unable to care for myself, it would be one thing, but I think other than that, I, I prefer to be independent. Yeah, right now we're not at that time where we uh -huh. need anybody to care for us. So Correct. That time yeah. will come. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. Uh and our kids have watched us do that for our parents. We've set a good role model for doing that for our parents. So. That's my expectation. That, that, that is very well said. Yeah, because yeah. like as as you are like still young and like you know, it's it's absolutely more fun you know being independent. Yeah, and sorry, last question. Like so, like I was uh, like any advice to the young people watching this video. So when they become when they retire, any advice you would have? Like financial, right? Or financial or like any advice in general? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? We raised five kids. We had no money forever and ever and ever. Finally, we have some money, and we're we're not promising that we're leaving it to them. We're we're spending it on ourselves right now. There might be some left, but they've all told us: spend your money on yourselves. That's why you spent. That's why you saved it, and that's what we're that's what we're doing. Selfishly, but there will be some left. Sorry, guys, there will be some. But <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there's a rule you follow, like like percentage from withdrawing from like your retirement funds or like. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Is there is there a rule you follow, like people say seven percent rule of withdrawing from retirement funds, or? Uh, no, I guess I don't know. Okay. I don't have a rule for that. Oh. No. Uh -huh. How about you? Any advice? Uh -huh. yeah. I would just say work hard, save your money, and stay healthy. And in this kind of lifestyle, you can be as active as you want, and I think it helps helps us to stay younger. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I would say start saving young. Like my youngest is putting aside 25% already for retirement because he doesn't have any bills. He said, Mom, I'll be down in the villages in no time. So save your money. You can't have everything now. You have to plan ahead. You know, you can't have everything at once. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the insights. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, those it was a lot of fun talking to people and like many gulti say kadia old people, I shouldn't say old people, it's like retired people. So how how you feel? Like no one said that they want to like you know live with their kids. So how how is your opinion? I mean it made me I, uh, I mean if you want to talk I can talk. Yeah, any advice for young people watching this? Your younger self? Uh go to mass. Mass? <laughs> mass, go to church. Oh there you go. That's my advice. <laughs>
Sure. Follow Ten what, Commandments. That's what keeps us together. <laughs> Pray together, stay together. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, Katie, what do you think about talking to retired people? Because they are like so happy, energetic. Stress is not that what things they should do there's so much to do for them yeah, yeah. I mean it sounds it seems really great um, it, I also feel validated because of everything I keep telling you about Americans don't want to live with their kids uh -huh. like that's not considered normal for us so it's like here's the evidence we every I think every person we asked said like oh they might miss uh -huh. their kids and want to see them more uh -huh. but they don't want to live with them you Absolutely know? Right. so I'm like okay like it's not just me I'm not crazy here's some evidence uh -huh. true like so they are Good. They are like amazed. They said if they are like not healthy, they may prefer to live with the kids. Yeah. But until that moment, they don't want to. I mean, so I was all, surprised. Yeah, I mean. So what do you think at that point? Would you support your parents if like they are at that stage? Well, yeah, I and mean, I think most Americans do that. I mean, we saw the couple over there. They were like, oh yeah, like the mother-in-law lived with them. I mean, I think Americans take care of their parents when they're sick, but like just when they're like healthy, older, they don't want to. Yeah. I when mean, they're healthy, they don't want to. But yeah, I say don't don't misunderstand us that oh they are like okay they are like oh no go to hell if you are like not unwell you yeah. if you are unwell <laughs> but they will welcome you here yeah yeah but i mean i don't know i think everyone wants to feel young and happy and independent yeah. and like free Absolutely. and i mean that's just a very american thing too i guess because like we're all about being in independent uh -huh. absolutely yeah. yeah thank you <laughs> so yeah we sunset dekhenge and we will have dinner what are your opinions about villages in America. Would you ever prefer to live here? Let me know in the comments below. And thank just you so much for watching. Come follow me, just take my hand. And then we are cruising.